just Xerath and the Sun Disk. This is like a, what are those, Quibbies? Short films? I'll call this a short film. Oh yeah, we get Nasus level 3 too, that's true. Okay. That's That was like the, the little bonus scene after the credits that you don't expect. Please don't ride negation, let it, let it happen. Yes. No ride of negation. Alright, the sequel. Ascendance Rise Part 2. <laughs> Dude, this stuff's so amazing. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Ascendance Rise as the first of our three meme tier decks for today. It's Meme Tier Sunday over here on Twitch. That means we're actually going to be uploading our Meme Tier Monday decks on Monday on YouTube. So y'all on YouTube are probably going to be pretty excited about that because, you know, it's usually Meme Tier Tuesday or Wednesday by the time they get up to YouTube. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to be playing a Buried Sun Disc deck, Mono Shurima, uh, and we're going to be trying to, um, as far as advancing... Or restoring the sun disk. There we go. Sorry. As far as restoring the sun disk is concerned, we are going to be uh, using Ascendance Rise to be able to do that. Three copies of Ascendance Rise. It's a level up all level one Ascended allies. So the game plan here is to basically play our buried sun disk, get two champions in play, two two champions with different names, with Azir, Renekton, Zareth, and Nasus, and then play Ascendance Rise, level up those two champions which will be countdown 20 and so therefore by that time by the time we do that that's going to be all 25 so that will restore the sun disc and then our champions go straight to level three because when we cast ascended rise they they it says level up from level one to level two but then of course when they're at level two if you restore the sun disc they go to level three and so then we have some ridiculously powerful champions because the, then they're at level three um and then we just win the game from there so that's the plan. So hopefully uh, that that will happen. Let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to be playing Ascendant Rise. Oh, as far as the champs go, go with two Nasus and two Renekton because they are they both re you know end the game really well at level three, but they also can kind of stay alive a little bit easier um, and things like that. I don't know. Like Azir doesn't really do a whole lot. I don't know. Like they they can do a little bit more. You know, like they're bigger. You know, um, and they can do a little bit more even without the Ascendant Rise. Um, but with the Ascendance Rise, they're crazy strong. So I kind of like Renekton and Nasus a little bit more than Xerath and Azir. Xerath and Azir, like if you don't Ascendance Rise, you're not winning any games with Xerath or Azir. But like if you don't Ascendance Rise, you could possibly win games with Renekton and Nasus, uh, especially with Siphoning Strike. So we're going we're gonna to go with those. All right, uh, let's go ahead and play our five games to playing them on over in Normal, that being Meme Tier Day. And yeah, hopefully we can get a movie today. Hopefully we can get a movie today. So we got Targon's Peak deck, a Freljord version. Definitely glad we're playing Freljord and not like Demacia Dragons with Shivana and stuff. Because against a Freljord deck, I guess we get rid of Quicksand. Um, they're definitely playing Targon's Peak, so like maybe we hit Ascendance Rise on like our Targon's Peak or something like that. Maybe we can get lucky in that respect. Okay, there's the Senate's Rise. I'll just save my three spell mana for Quicksand, I think, more than play Preservarium. Or should I play Preservarium? Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, 
All right, so now we can kind of have this trade here because I didn't want to kill anything last round because last round, wow. Using a valuable card like Flash Freeze on the little 31? That's fine with me. Alright, so I have Ancient Hourglass to protect Renekton. Probably just don't even need to do this. So, I mean, Renekton only takes one damage. I don't know, it's probably worth it. Renekton goes from 4 to 3 health. Alright, got another Flash Freeze out of their hand. The good thing for them, though, like, they, they're thinking, okay, I want to get these Flash Freezes out of my hand so that, uh, yeah, I cost zero, so that their Targon Speak doesn't hit Flash Freeze. So that, that's also what they're thinking. Shurima, my empire, my heart. Our prosperity and loyalty belongs to you. Wash away all the troubles you. No, I'll drown my troubles. Let's do it over there! Glorious battle! That'll be four damage for Renekton. Okay, we hit a sentence rise. I guess we lead with this first. So we at least grab, like, grab a Renekton out of the deck. All right, so the Renekton was going to get out of the deck anyway. All right, they got a Soraka. All right, we have one ride negation for protection. Okay, movie time. Movie time. So the Xerath and the Nasus will still be level one. Sundisk restored. Draw Zareth, Nasus, plus. Oh. Plus a card from the Emperor's deck. Move it time. I wonder if they have like the deal, like the Aurelian Soul Champion spell, like deal 15, but these have spell shield. Alright, there we go. Awesome. Move it time. The order is given. GG's. Oh no, this one's dragons. Dragon's gonna kill our our stuff. Hey, Sanctuary Tank, thanks for, thanks for the tier one sub. So they only have Shivana as their only champion. So what if they don't draw Shivana? That'd be pretty cool, right? No, maybe I keep that. I guess I don't really need Treasure Seeker. So we're gonna have Sundisk on one. And you know I'll have Ancient Hourglass and Soothsayer to help protect our Nectin. Thank you, Sanctuary Tank. Y'all think there's any chance that they don't draw Shivana? They don't have Shivana this next round? No chance. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Suffer my fury.
No chance. As I live, all will die. How soon Demacia forgets? Okay, that can give me another champion. I don't really know how I want to do this. They're playing like they have a sharp side or a single combat, right? Like one of the two mana spells. That's how they've been playing. No reinforcement. So no ascended to rise this round. So we're gonna have to save our champs. Yeah, no, no, there's no Soraka. Man, that is. That's like the worst thing. I forget about that. Hard with the overwhelms. So yeah, now we just go down to two. There's just two cards I don't want to see: Shavana and Shavana and Screeching Dragon. Right? Like that's that's it. <laughs> like those two cards, and they not only had Shavana and Screeching Dragon, but had a, had a round three and round four. Like when you look at Demacia, Demacia Targon with Shavana, like I don't really care about any of the rest of the cards. All right, sends rise. Cool. We had our four mana for Ryan negation case, but of course these have the spell shield. All right, movie time. So it doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna beat leveled up Shivana with overwhelm and super big. Okay, deal five to the weakest enemy and the enemy nexus, and then obliterate it. I think it makes sense to attack. Like, they are passing. I think we're supposed to attack. I could spend two mana on Ruthless Predator, uh, but then I don't have Ride Negation available anymore. But maybe we don't need Ride Negation available anymore. All they have to do is just sharp sight and time is over. a couple of sharp sights if Shivana stays alive. Ooh, no sharp sight. 
Okay, that's great. They probably haven't drawn a second Shivana, right? Like, that's their only champion. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. That thing overwhelmed Challenger. I need to challenge the Screeching Dragon. Oh, great. Great draw. Great draw. Now that gets rid of the Overwhelm, so even if they have pump spells, the Overwhelm's gone. <laughs> Streamer luck. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not very close to leveling up. I will just... Pass. Okay, okay. go into the next round. We do six to them, or we do five to them, round start. Virtue guides me. Huh. Too bad you didn't have anything die. This is probably greedy. Of course, they haven't had anything die because Xerath obliterates units instead of having them die. Come hither, you beasts of glory! You're still at seven. This is why you don't really this is why you don't really play Herald of Dragons, because sometimes you'll just draw Herald of Dragons uh, in the late game instead of something useful. Wow, so we haven't slain a single thing this game? Because the only things we've killed have been obliterated, so that, that doesn't count towards slaying. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, and we didn't even get the plus two plus two bonus from because we slayed. Man, Xerath. Xerath, you're killing me. Alright, anyway. I'll attack. Yes, is Aerith anti Sharima? Yeah. That's hurting our Nasus and our uh, siphoning strike. Because, like, if it dies, you do this, but it didn't die. Because it got obliterated. So, yeah, this Nasus is just a regular 2 2. This one's at least a 5 5 because Xenotype. <laughs> who knew that Xerath, who opposes Azir, would be against Sharima? All right, we've watched two movies, gotten two level three Renektons, and that's two and zero. Oh. oh, we're facing a Mono Shriva deck. We got a mirror match. So who will watch more movies? All right, I like the Chronomancer on two. I think I'll keep Preservarium also. We don't really need Rock Hoppa. It's going to be a movie time one way or the other. One way or another. We're going to watch some movies. Oh, we have to watch out for... Ooh, there we go. There we go. Soothsayer. Because I was going to say they could have the four mana destroy a landmark card. The Desert Naturalist. And then they destroy my... Buried Sun Disc. That would not be cool. So you have to find champions, and so Golden Ambassador will draw a champion if we're lucky enough to hit the Allegiance. You never know. Maybe we won't. Wash away all the troubles you. You disrupt our peace. All right, so they're there spell shielding their buried sun disk. The waters flow once more. Sharima is reborn. When life returns, we know you have We're going to do the same. Yeah, can both players just restore the Sun Disk and live peacefully together? <laughs> Destiny, your Emperor commands. Listen to me. Glorious sacrifice. All right, big Nasus. How good to serve the Emperor once more. Let it help you remember who you All right, well, they got both champions. Round three, round four. Emperor, you taught 
me to command the sands. I bestow the desert's power to the faithful. Life stirs. Remember this, arise. Okay. Who do I want to? All right, so I think we're gonna siphoning strike and kill one of their champs. I'm trying to determine which one we want to kill. Um. You are not welcome. We've got things to do. I don't know which one should we kill. Because we block here if we're gonna kill Azir, or block Don't here if we kill Renekton. Okay, I'll say the Azir. It's not safe. All right, Nasus now 10-10. I guess if I would have taken one more damage, I could have made Nasus an 11-11. You suffer as I have, Nasus. I suffer by blocking the Sand Soldier, but then this thing would still be a 3-5. I think I'd rather just have that thing be a 3-3. So now if they had his Ascendant's Rise, they don't get to you know level up both champions with Ascendant's Rise right now. Come on, do the damage. Yes. So they could have definitely had like the ancient hourglass, and then so we don't strike, and then that three two gets resummoned, and they draw another champion. Yeah, Sandcrafter has lecturing your old body. Yep, yep. So they played the Emperor's dice. So that kind of means I think they have another Renekton in hand. I think that's what they drew off Gold Ambassador was Renekton, not. Yeah. Or at least that was a different Renekton. That wasn't the card they just drew. Okay, so they did have a zero. So much power, and yet you misuse it. Bask in the sunlight. Ooh. That card's pretty big. No surrender. So this would level up Red Necton. Right now, unless I so I got a I got a quick sand to keep it from leveling up. Quicksand. Level that up all the way. Alright, so that Renekton's gone. Not leveled up. I don't know if they thought that it was going to level up because you know it was the tenth damage, but once it dies, you know it can't you can't level up a dead champion. Well, hopefully, I'm I'm not holding up right negation right there. Hopefully, I don't need it. I went the I went the Preservarium over the Soothsayer, hoping to find one more champion, right, to be able to play the other champion. All right, small movie time. Just Zareth and the Sun Disc. This is like a what are those quibbies? Short films? I'll call this a short film. The 
Oh yeah, we get Nasus level three too. That's true. Okay. That's that was like the the little bonus scene after the credits that you don't expect. Pleasantly surprised by. I think I can just kill this Golden Ambassador so I can have, have some more room. did slay something to get to drain. Alright, now they get movie time. Yep, could have siphoning strike to try to keep that from happening, but I'm not too worried. I want to have Renekton and... You know, like, I'm I'm going for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for Azir into another Ascend. Um, it does mean they'll be Ascending without Ride Negation backup. But I think that's safe. Shariba, your emperor has returned. Our blessed leader walks among We're just in normal, right? Like we're we're just having fun. Yeah, I'm going for all four level up. Open attack wins, doesn't it? Uh I don't know, probably. So we're going for all four level up, more than just strictly winning. Look at both of our Nexuses. They're pretty cool. Alright, that card's cool. Please don't ride negation. Let it, let it happen. Yes. No ride of negation. All right, the sequel. Ascended's Rise Part Two. Tell the people what you have seen today. <laughs> How to shape the world at my fingertips. <laughs> Dude, this stuff's so amazing. God Emperor is here. Your power eclipses all. The sun disk is restored to its splendor. Alright, I don't know exactly what an attack's gonna do. It's probably gonna do something good. So this will take out the barrier for the Eternal Gladiator. Alright, they just chose death. I think they could have stayed alive with the block. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe they could. Yeah, I guess never mind. They couldn't. GG's. Alright, we got Tarek Poppy. Alright, uh, Poppy Tarek. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. I guess the Hourglass, too. I like the Hourglass as protection, though, from Challengers. This is going to be our first deck that we're playing against that uh, wants to attack a lot. And especially because they're rallying and so attacking a whole lot. So that's what this kind of deck struggles against. Our first three opponents, thankfully, haven't really attacked or cared about attacking too much. I guess the Shivana one wants to attack, but they're a little slower. And they had a, a poor hand. They drew multiple Ruin Dragon Guards and all three of the two mana ramp cards and stuff like that. So I'm not as confident in winning this game as some of our others. <laughs> hey, I came through as. Yeah, last game was basically we have a better movie. Alright, so I could I could wait 
and wait for Renekton to challenge that, but that gives them like one attack round with the Tiari and with the support with the Tiari, and I didn't really want to give them that attack round with the support with the Tiari, so just went ahead and challenged. I could see going Golden Ambassador, but kind of go and set up like a Siphoning Strike maybe next round. Tarek, are you here to help me? The journey is yours, but I'll help where I can. Man, Tarek's good. I was really hoping they wouldn't have Tarek. Today's the day I find that hero. Yeah. Good game. Um, guess we could try this. Yeah, you know, like with Sharp Sight, like it doesn't really make sense to to target the Poppy or anything. Maybe try killing the Tiari. Because then Sharp Sight, Pill, Cascade, don't save it. That would also make my Renekton a 6 6, which makes it a little bit more difficult for them to, to attack in. Okay. Sad. But I guess it's gotta happen. I don't know how we're gonna defeat this Terra yet. We, okay. 7-7 seven, seven Nasus could help. They could still have Hush, of course. The cycle begins. Problem with Nasus against Targon is Hush. Now they get to copy that over. It's so smart to play that first. This too shall end. Fade and be gone. Oh. Oh, is it Protégé? Oh, please don't be Protégé. Or just, you know, a challenger. Don't be a challenger. Because I want it. I'm going to try to have my Nasus block their Terek and kill their Terek here. Their first time in combat. Okay, cool. So they didn't get to just like play another unit and then copy that over and because this Taric level up it's a real problem. Alright. Uh level three Nasus? Why are you so good, Taric? No, it's not even gonna be a level three Nasus. Wait a minute, never mind, never mind. Okay. Consider the consequences. Jerima, your emperor has returned. I offer my service, undying one. So yeah, if I, if I would have passed, they would have played, you know, like like protege, and then uh, copy over the barrier challenge, um, and then I have like no blocks, and then they get to attack again because the, the golden ages, which then levels up the Taric, and uh, you know then they can't take damage or die, right? And so if I, so basically, if I would have uh, passed. A lot of a lot of things would have gone very poorly for me. All right, so we're still gonna have our Nasus dying. Tarek's still gonna be completely absurd. Want to pass before they can play anything else? Let me hear you call our Emperor's name. Jerimans, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. <sighs> no, don't have another Golden Ages. One drop plus Ibex. Or like the the one drop plus Rally for five mana. Yeah, it's not ages, I guess. But it's, I guess, worse, technically, because it does more damage. Not here, not now. That's not tamper proof. It's down to six. To protect, never submit. Okay. Can't spoil our moment. You dare! Oh. Well, Taric with rallies is so busted. <laughs> Y'all are realizing that now. It is absurd. Me and win 
things behind me. <laughs> so that means four more, like basically completely lethal attackers. Almost got it. I have to just play blockers. I'm at eight for a zero. Got a lizard and a shovel. Three points of buff. Okay, go. I could certainly try. Your Emperor commands. Otherwise, they can support that thing and make that so it can't take damage or die. Why don't you not go on the other one? Oh, I guess because he copied over there, right? I will run you over. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Azir's so close to leveling up, too. It's about to die here because they open attack, obviously. Yeah. Okay, we just have to hope they don't have any more rallies, right? Like, another rally, we're definitely dead. Unyielding. Tarek with these copy over rallies and rally multiple times is just... So absurd. Violence, chaos, and destruction. No more rallies, please. Also, no fight spells. Go get the shiny dog. That doesn't help. Yeah, I mean, I have to block both because. You know, like we die if we don't block. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. I guess they can take damage and die now. Try. I could try attacking. The five two, then attack. Attack out. Attack all. It's really risky, because if it doesn't work, it's like the entire game. Right, Negation, I need you against rallies earlier. Alright, three and one. GG, Tarek. GG, Tarek. Alright, test. Okay. That looks better. Yep camera. Alright, now sound bug. And we have Yasuo Leona. Could definitely have Homecoming, which would recall the land, recall the sun disk. I'm gonna keep all this. Yeah, that's what we got. We got a Shurima movie meme deck. Yep. Currently three and one. Couldn't handle... Know, Tarek, in Invincible Tarek rallying all the time. Come on. 
doing good besides that. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. My faith protects me. Will be a good game. We'll kind of see what what happens here. See if our opponent has their champions immediately. So far, our last uh, two opponents have played three opponents. Have played all their champions, you know, immediately as soon as they could. I don't like that. I'm not getting any spell shield on you know, another, on anything else, but this is also, like, you know, I'm at 17. This is a lot of pressure coming in. Just want the blocker. All of this is ours. Spirit fire could be nice. Alright, so we know they're dropping a champion. Which one are they gonna play? Leveled up Leona. Okay, hourglass. All right, I do not want to get rid of a mana gem. I don't know, considering you know, considering blocking there and then out then ancient hourglass and then we get to reset and we get to draw another champion and grant it plus two plus two. That wouldn't necessarily be bad, but I also kinda want to spirit fire this round. I can't really pass, because if I pass then they they pass. At least that's what I would definitely do if I were them. But I spirit fire, then they have six mana to like build their board and attack. Kinda gross. The cycle begins new. Kind of imagine they're going to be doing the same thing next round. Was that? Was it an actual Leona last round? A blade forged with blessed sunlight. It doesn't say. You know, it just says right of negation. Okay, yeah, there. Never mind. There it says the third card, Leona's Morning Light. Okay, yes, yeah, so that was a Leona's Morning Light. So there's only, so that's one Leona down. Okay, so that's where it says. A beam of light to pierce the heavens. I guess this could have been a good spirit fire round. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. The reason to do the 4 4 be to help Renekton level up, but Twin Disciplines is the reason to do the 5 5. I get violent when I'm bored. I like killing Solari Priestess so they have another one of those morning lights, they don't get to invoke another celestial card. So that's why I did that over the 3 2. Clad in shining sunlight. Punish transgressions. Don't touch it. Hmm. Never mind, that's lethal. Alright, good game, I guess. Good daybreak hand. Every single card they played was daybreak. 
All right, GG's still went three and two with our Mono Shirima deck. I'll take that for sure. You can see the problems that we have whenever we played against our last two opponents that played cheaper units and were attacking. This deck just doesn't play defense well enough, and that's just the problem with Shirima right now is that it really just doesn't block well enough and doesn't have enough cheap interaction and uh, things like that. And that that's why Shirima isn't a very good region because you play against people that want to attack and you probably lose. But we played against... Um, another, we played against a mirror match, and then a couple of slower decks, you know, some slower Targon decks uh, besides that, and we were able to ascend his rise a whole bunch, and that was pretty awesome. And so we got a lot of movies going on. So we'll take a three and two, because you saw that whenever we did play against the slower opponents and we were able to ascend his rise, our level three champions are awesome, and they will take over the game for sure. It's just getting to that point of the game it is difficult against anybody that wants to attack. All right, so that's going to be it, though, for Ascended's Rise. So as always, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know how y'all like the deck or any other deck ideas or any of the new cards that y'all are really excited to play. Any, any new decks you want me to build, let me know in the comment section. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.